Hello there. Welcome to another web episode. My name is Craig Seneker, and in this episode, I'm going to show you how to take the horizontal categories in the web store and put them on the left. I've had a lot of people ask how to do this, so I figured I would make a video tutorial and show how. Well, the end result is going to look something like this. I'll hear the links as opposed to up here. Let me get started. Delete that. You should make sure that you have Firebug installed as a Firefox plugin. So you can just inspect the element and see what does what. As you see, this is what we want right here. We don't want this or that. If you hover over, you can see what HTML code is on the page. Now, you can see it's the ID of product categories. So up here, for IDs, you use a number sign and you just paste in the name of it. The first thing I'm going to do is float to the left by doing float colon and left. As you can see, everything's now aligned to the left over here. And we don't want it that wide, so we'll adjust the width to make it smaller. All I like doing is using percents. So if you change your template, the width of your menu and your um, store items automatically adjust to your template. So I'm going to do 15%. I'm going to have to add an important attribute to force it to work. And now it's a lot smaller, but we still have some overlapping over here. And if you inspect the element, you can see that it's this is the store items are still really wide. So it's another ID and it's part of the list, so we'll just paste this in and make this width smaller. I'll make it 80%. And now flip this to the right. There, it's a lot better now. And if you want to leave it here, you can, but there's a lot of uh, fixes you can do to make this look a little bit over here. First thing I'm going to do is move the border. Like that. I'm going to do unnecessary padding, which is space around. Um, you can see all the purple there. So we'll just remove that. There we go. And I don't like how the uh, words are in the center like that, so I'm going to do text align and left. And again, you ha have to add a important attribute, which is just the exclamation mark and important to force it to work. Alright, now we can customize the links a little bit by first, as we can see in here, each link is surrounded by a span, an HTML tag, which has a class of product category. So we just add a dot and product category. And first, I want to add some padding to it. So we'll do padding 3 pixels by 0 pixels. And do that. Now I will also add a span one up here. And we'll also add display block. And that fixes the problem where they all are next to each other. Now with the padding over here, the 3 pixels is up and down. So it adds 3 pixels above each link and below each link. As opposed to if you just did three pixels, it also does it on the left and the right, and we don't want that. Well, I don't want that. So now we can customize the actual links by just copying that and doing a colon link, comma, and paste it again and do a visited. This makes sure that all the links stay the same color. A lot of times, if you click a link, that link is a different color now because you've just visited it. So. I would do color black. You can type in black or use a hex code. I'm also going to remove the underline. There. Now I like to add a little border on the bottom to divide the links a little bit. So I'm going to do border one pixel and make a a nice light gray to do border bottom. I don't want it all around. And we can add display 
bark again. And if you can see it, the links are now as wide as the product category. So you can see the outline, the links all extended so you can hover over just a little bit anywhere where if you take away display block you can only click the actual text you can't click over here anymore so having the display block is really good because that makes it easier to click okay now I'm going to copy all this and paste the new line and at the end of this add hover to colon in between over here backspace the word link and add hover and this is basically the style of links when you hover over them. I'm going to change the border color to black. And now you have a nice effect when you hover over it. And well, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a lot from it. And I'll see you next time.